It's a forum organized by the Center for Democracy and Development to deliberate on how adequate security can be enforced in the run-up to the 2023 general elections. And as expected, experts from the Independent National Electoral Commission, civil society organizations, and representatives of security agencies are in attendance. The series of security challenges across the country comes to the fore as speakers highlight the role of government agencies and the need to redouble efforts towards making the 2023 election exercise a success. We know that there are prevailing insecurity challenges pervading different parts of this country. I think at the CDD we often refer to it as multiple notes of conflict, common causes, and uh, we have written extensively on these challenges on the national level. These challenges are quite different because they are not the normal election violence you would think of when conceptualizing electoral security. Um, we are even as a country dealing with election violence pre, during and after elections are things we could do. We could mobilize all the security, for instance. We could come together as a community to deal with this issue and interest group. The INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, also lends his voice to the call for adequate security and announces the schedule for the activities leading to the election. In the next 19 days, that is on the 20th of September 2022, the commission will publish the final list of candidates for national elections, presidential candidates and their running mates, senatorial candidates, and candidates for federal constituencies, that is House of Representatives, as provided by Section 32, Subsection 1 of the Electoral Act 2022. This will be followed on 4th October 2022 by the publication of the final list of candidates for state elections, governorship and state houses of assembly um, elections. Ahead of the September 28th commencement of campaigns, INEC is advising politicians to stay clear of issues that can heat up the polity and worsen the security situation in the country.